Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Blu-ray haul video, I guess. Um, I haven't done a Black Friday Blu-ray haul in about a year, I think. A year or two. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this year for Black Friday, um, I got quite the haul here. Uh, that's, that's a lot of Blu-rays. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's a lot. Um, I wasn't really expecting much. Uh, I was just expecting to get a couple of titles that I needed for the collection. And, you know, just hoping that I would get uh, some stuff to finish off some uh, things that I was missing. Uh, just so I could get some things that I was missing. The only places that I could really shop around for Black Friday, around where I live, is uh, Walmart. Since I don't have a Best Buy near me, I don't have a Target near me. Uh, so Walmart was really the best bet for me for Black Friday this year. Uh, but uh, I didn't get all these titles from Walmart. I did get a few from uh, Dollar General. And I got a couple from Amazon. Um, I was hoping to get some stuff for Big Lots this year. But uh, uh, Big Lots didn't really have all that great a selection. They mainly had DVDs. And I'm not against DVDs, but, you know, the selection that they had, I, I didn't recognize any of the titles. And honestly, I think they could have had a better selection. Uh, same with Walmart, too. Uh, they had a pretty decent selection, but uh, their prices were uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, so, really, with Walmart, I only went for uh, the 2 to $6 titles. Um, I'm rounding up here, so those aren't the exact amounts that they had for Walmart, but whatever. So, yeah, um, this is probably the best haul I've gotten for Black Friday. Um, this is definitely the most Blu-rays I've ever gotten, so let's go ahead and jump into it, starting off with what I got from Amazon. First up that I got from Amazon is Alien Covenant. Got this for $3.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal, especially since it's a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack. Um, I recently collected all the Alien movies from Big Lots. I got them for really cheap. Really cheap. I got the Alien Anthology. I got Prometheus. And to finish off the collection, I thought I'd get Alien Covenant. I've only seen the first two Alien movies. Um, so it's going to be a while before I actually watch this one. This is a blind buy for me. But, uh, you know, I can't wait to check it out. I've heard mixed things about this movie. Um, but I got it for four bucks, so... I really wanted to watch every single movie and just kind of, you know, see what's up with Alien. So, yeah, can't wait to watch that when I watch it. Uh, next up here, we've got Aquaman. Now, this is a title that I really wanted. I was hoping to pick it up from Walmart, uh, but when I went to Walmart, they did not have any copies of Aquaman on Blu-ray. I don't know if maybe it's because they sold out or maybe they just didn't carry Aquaman. But, uh, you know, I was pretty disappointed that I had to go on Amazon in order to get Aquaman. Um, especially considering this is my favorite DCEU movie so far. Uh, I think it's the best one out of all of them. And I just I just really wanted it. I'm pretty sure this is a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack too. I got this one from Amazon for 6 bucks. And yeah, I just, I can't wait to rewatch this, guys. I really did enjoy this movie. And I just, ah, I really want to watch it on Blu-ray. It was just so good. So yeah, got Aquaman for 6 bucks. And then next up here, uh, we've got the Dollar General Blu-rays that I found. Um, I guess these were sort of Black Friday deals because I, I'm i pretty sure they were cheaper than all the other uh, Blu-rays that they had there. Uh, they were marked down a couple of dollars or two. So yeah, uh, first up here, I got The Departed on Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure it's just a Blu-ray digital combo pack, and the digital actually might be expired, but uh, you know... I just wanted to get this movie, you know, for three ninety five. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, and I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. I haven't seen it, but, you know, uh, Wasting Money 1, for any of you guys that recognize that channel. Uh, they haven't posted a new video in a while, but, you know, they love collecting Blu-rays. And they make some pretty good videos. Uh, the main guy always, you know, talks about this movie, and he always raves about it. Uh, it's got a good score on Rotten Tomatoes, and even some of my friends have recommended it to me. So, yeah, I just wanted to check it out, and when I saw it at Dollar General, I knew I had to pick it up. And for $3.95, that's a really good deal. So, picked up The Departed. Uh, next one here was kind of a surprise uh, for $3.95, also from Dollar General. I got The Edge of Seventeen here on Blu-ray DVD Digital Copy Combo Pack. 
and I was kind of surprised because this is a relatively new movie. It came out like two years ago, and I'm just surprised that I found it at Dollar General of all places uh, for three ninety five, especially since it's a you know multi edition combo pack. Uh, I there it doesn't it's new like there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it or anything. So uh, you know I've heard this is a really good movie too, and uh, this is another blind buy for me, but. Uh, yeah, I've heard it's really good. I can't wait to check it out. It's got Haley Steinfeld and Woody Harrelson. So, yeah, I can't wait to check it out. Pretty cool. Edge of 17. And then this last one that I got from Big... Or, not Big Lots, Dollar General. Uh, also three ninety five was really quite the surprise as well. Uh, I got Godzilla here on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm pretty sure, once again, it's a multi-edition combo pack. So it should come with the DVD and the digital copy. And... I especially wanted to get this one because it's Blu-ray 3D, uh, not just Blu-ray, so I thought that was pretty cool for $3.95. Uh, I have seen this movie, I watched it in theaters, and I thought it was pretty good, you know, a nice little fun sci-fi watch. And uh, I tried renting it to show it to my family, and uh, you know, they weren't really interested with it at the time. And I have to admit, it was kind of a hard rewatch, especially the beginning. The beginning is just so slow for this movie, but you know... For a Blu-ray 3D, and for the price that I paid for it, I thought, why not? I can't wait to rewatch this. It's been a while since I've watched this, and uh, there are other reasons why I got this movie, but, um, you know, uh, I'll get into that later on. So, Godzilla on Blu-ray 3D, pretty cool. And then these next ones, the rest of them are from Walmart. Now, Walmart didn't really have a good selection, like I said. Uh, my choices were very limited, and uh, the prices were pretty ridiculous. They were pretty high. I didn't want to spend more than like six bucks for each Blu-ray, so I really just went for the uh, titles that were cheaper. Uh, no 4Ks this year. Um, there's really no point in me getting 4Ks. I don't even own a 4K player or a TV, so I just stuck with Blu-ray this year. And uh, these were the titles that I picked up. The first two titles I have here weren't even a part of the Black Friday sale. That's how limited my options were. I found these uh, in the $5 Blu-ray section at Walmart. But, uh, you know, uh, I thought I'd pick them up since uh, the newest movie in the series came out recently. Uh, so the first title here I've got is Terminator Salvation on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I do remember watching this one. Uh, from what I saw, I thought I, I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. So yeah, I, I really wanted to get this because I was able to get the first movie and Genesis from Big Lots for really cheap. And, you know, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I really do enjoy the Terminator movies. I like them all. I've seen them all. And, well, except for Dark Fate. I haven't seen that one yet. But, uh, you know, I, I like all of them. I don't really care. Uh, I, I enjoy them all. So I can't wait to watch this on Blu-ray. I haven't seen it on Blu-ray before. And for five bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So, yeah. And then the next title I picked up was Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Again, same with Terminator Salvation. I, I've i seen it. I like it. Uh, I think it's good. I don't really care. I even like Genesis. Yeah, that's how crazy I am. But uh, yeah, so Terminator 3, five bucks. Why not? You know, I can't wait for Dark Fate, and I'm just going to marathon them all. Uh, the only one I'm missing now is T2. I hope to get that sometime soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like four bucks on Amazon right now, so maybe I'll pick it up. But uh uh, they're out of stock right now, so I'm just going to wait until they restock, and I will get that. So, yeah, these last four titles I've got here are um, Black Friday deals. So, uh, the first one I got here for $5.96, I think. Yeah, $5.96. Uh, it's got the black promo sticker, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yes, I saw this movie in theaters. It's on Netflix. Uh, but I just really want it in my collection, guys. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. Um, I don't think it's as good as a lot of people say it is. I don't think it's the best Spider-Man movie that's been released. But it's still a really fun movie, and I really did enjoy it. And uh, I missed out on it when it was first released. But I knew uh, it was going to be cheap on Black Friday. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up. I just really like this movie, guys. And if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. So, yeah, that's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, combo pack. And then this next one, yes. Um, I've been needing this for a while, and I've been meaning to get it. And I saw this. I found this in a random part uh, where they had the Blu-ray deals. And this is the only copy that I saw. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up. 
Got Mission Impossible 6 Fallout here on Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack for $5.96. And uh, this is the only movie in the series that I don't have. Uh, again, like with Spider-Verse, I uh, wasn't able to get it when it first came out. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to pick it up. Uh, it completes my Mission Impossible collection. I love these movie guys, movies, guys. Uh, it's just great. And I think this might be my favorite one. Uh, I really do enjoy this movie, guys. This, this, this is a really great movie, and I'm glad to get it. So, yeah. Mission Impossible Fallout, 596. And then this next movie, um, uh, it's another blind buy. I haven't seen it. But a lot of people are really raving about this movie, guys. I've heard a lot of good things. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes... Critically, it, the score is kind of mixed. It's like 50%. But uh, a lot of people have been raving about it. A lot of my friends have told me that this is a really great movie and that I should watch it. Even my family has watched it and they said that I should watch it. And that is The Greatest Showman here on Blu-ray uh, Combo Pack. So, yeah, I this was not on my radar, guys. But, uh, you know, a lot of people have been recommending this movie to me and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So, uh I thought for five ninety six, why not pick it up and watch it? And even if I don't like it, maybe I could just give it to my family because they really do like this movie. And uh, I don't know why I haven't seen it, but now I can. So now I have it. Greatest Showman, five ninety six. Cool. So yeah. And then the final title that I have here, uh, I was not planning on picking up at all, but as soon as I saw it at Walmart, and considering that I got the first one, uh, I thought why not just pick it up? So I got. Godzilla, King of the Monsters here uh, for $5.96. I have not seen this movie, and I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. Uh, a lot of these reviews say that it's a hit-or-miss movie. You either like it or you hate it. Um, I don't know, guys. I just I don't watch these movies for the plot. I just watch them uh, just to see Godzilla fight other monsters and destroy cities. So I think I'm going to like this movie, uh, as long as it gives me that. Um, but, uh, yeah... Since I got the first one, I thought, why not just get the second one and complete the collection? I need to get Kong Skull Island. I wasn't able to find that uh, at Walmart at all. Uh, I don't think it's on sale on Amazon right now. So uh, uh, something to pick up in the future. But, um, you know, got to prepare for Godzilla vs. Kong, which is coming soon. Uh, so I hear. But, uh, yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters, 596. Get down. So, yeah. Um... That's basically it. That's all I've gotten uh, for Black Friday. I don't know if I'm going to do Cyber Monday. Uh, maybe if I find something that I really want, maybe I'll get some more. But uh, for now, um, I'm pretty happy with this haul right here. 11 titles, uh, some blind buys, some that I've seen but really like. So, uh, yeah. Um, I know that I said the selection this year was pretty bad. But the fact that I was able to get this much uh, for so cheap... Uh, I'm actually kind of happy about so yeah pretty cool uh, like I said this is like the best haul that I've gotten so far so that was pretty nice and uh, yeah that was my Black Friday so yeah um, I I don't know what kind of titles you guys picked up let me know in the comments down below uh, any good deals that you found and uh, let me know which of these blind buys I should start with first you know I I don't really know where to start honestly but yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. That's basically it. And I will see you guys in the next movie video. Uh, it probably won't come for a while. I'm probably not going to buy any new movies for a while. I'm going to try not to. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.